Hello, hello, Facebook and YouTube. This is your girl, Stephanie, a.k.a. Edini has to stop it by. And um, I'm actually doing um, just random readings in the area of relationships and love. The energy has been quite interesting so far. Um, so I must begin this reading out with, you know, reminding you that this is a general reading. Okay. So uh, the messages may not apply for everyone. Like I just did Libra's reading and it spoke about an unrequited love due to uh, someone figuring out their sexual identity, you know. So, um, yeah, these readings are, you know, may not be for everyone. <laughs> Long story short. So, um I'm going to pull these cards back up because I didn't decide who I wanted to read on. I had in my mind an Aquarius. So I guess I'll, I'll continue with that energy. So um, divine forces of unconditional love. What does the sign of Aquarius need to know uh, for their highest good in the area of love and relationships? Okay. One more. of Aquarius, Divine Forces of Unconditional Love, please, if there's any, uh, and the same card that came out, you saw, you heard, I shuffled the, I picked these cards up and I shuffled them again, and this card came out again in the same place, the Three of Wands, so you're in the energy of delay, uh, waiting for your ships to come in, this card came out in the last reading, and it came out in, in, in um, when I had laid these cards out before, um, so a lot of the same energy is coming out uh, and then those two cards were also in the last reading as well with the three of cups and this four of cups too um, all right princess of sacred circles the um page of pentacles here So there's a new opportunity, perhaps, that you're looking at. Because we have you in the energy of waiting as well, you know. Um, why is the three of ones here? The page of swords. So a new insight. Uh, communication, perhaps, coming in. Uh, queen of swords coming out to clarify the queen of uh, pentacles. You know, maybe you're not wanting a serious relationship at the time at this time, uh, Aquarius. You see, you know, you're, you may have your mind more focused on your money, on building your um, businesses at this time. You know, eight of staff. So there's a message coming in, information coming in, maybe a download coming in. What is this about, Spirit? What is the eight of staffs, the eight of wands energy? Yep, the Ten of Pentacles. Um, so again, building that generational legacy is possibly what your mind is focused on, overcoming this generational curse of a lack mentality here with the Four of Pentacles coming out. Spirit, give me clarity on the Four of Pentacles, please. Um, we have the... Um, Will of Fortune card, the Will of Fate, and the Nine of Cups, which is, you know, wish fulfillment, uh, clarifying the Four of Pentacles, that lack mentality. So, yeah, overcoming uh, a lack mentality is, is the energy that you're in right now. You're not really focusing on love. Uh, we have the Three of Cups here. Spirit, give me clarity on the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups energy here? The Knight of Wands, um, movement and passion, going, you know, movement in, in regards to those things that brings you passion. And we know right now that you're passionate about your money, <laughs> Aquarius. And the hangman state, you know, seeing things from a different perspective, Ten of Wands, releasing that burden. 
uh, or releasing a burden um, and making a decision to overcome um, fears. We have the Nine of Swords here, which is like, you know, focusing on the negative so much that you're manifesting it. And so maybe you're denying yourself love at this time, you know, saying that you want to focus more on work, but you actually are wanting a love in your life, you know, you're feeling this, you know, lack mentality that you're, you're going to find that love or that, you know, that wish fulfillment in regards to relationships. Um, But spirit is saying, you know, be confident. Um, nurture yourself at this time. But know that you will be victorious in finding a love that will not abandon you. You know, maybe you're afraid. Your reason why you're not really taking any um, relationships serious right now is because you're afraid that they're going to leave you. Give me clarity on the Princess of Swords, please, Spirit. The Knight of uh, Cups and the Star. So Spirit wants you to know that you are worthy of love. And that you, you know, can open yourself up. Open yourself up to uh, this new love that is trying to come in. So we have the nine of coins, clarifying the five of pentacles, which is that abandonment um, feeling, um, feeling being left out in the cold. Spirit wants you to have, you know, employ discipline, okay, and having faith that you are worthy. Seven of coins wants you to invest in the energy of knowing that you are worthy of love, Aquarius. And that's is what's going to bring about, you know, a balance here with the six of coins. It's going to bring in a balanced relationship that's going to bring that's going to have, you know, a balanced give and take. So if you be in the energy of waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting perhaps for maybe you're in separation. Maybe you do have a love in your life, but you're in separation right now because you have put your foot down and say, I'm not going to take anything less than the nurturing, deep love that I want. And so with you putting your foot down in your in this relationship, um, your person is beginning to see your work, you know. Um, and the, the lack that you have in the area of love is being turned around. You are the will of fortune is moving in your favor and you will, will receive um, harmony within your relationship. Your person is going to take the action that is needed in order to, um, you know, not miss out on this opportunity of love with you. They're putting down their burden and they're making the decision to overcome whatever um, doubts that they may have had in regards to love. They know that there's deep love within you uh, and within this connection that you're a very nurturing um, woman uh, or, or man, victorious um, and, and full of love. And they want, they don't want to miss out on this and they're going to come and perhaps apologize to you for leaving you and they're ready to put in the work required to uh, and employ the discipline needed to um, regain your trust. Okay, so um, the twin flame, Mystic Bees twin flame conversation is secrets. I have here, I can't, the first card is I can't stand the thoughts of you with anyone else. Exactly. Um, and then it says, don't wait for me. My love stagnancy delays our union. I, I will find you exactly remember I said yeah, there's a delay um, you may guys may not be together right now but you're already in the energy of not waiting for them you know you're you're focusing on your business and uh, and as you do so you know they're realizing that you are their empress 
right? It says, I don't like being without you, but this is for your own good. Um, and then that is clarified. I mean, that is followed by a deep thought. So let's get uh, more cards to add on to these messages. Maybe get more clarity. One more to expand on the messages that are here. So clarifying, I can't stand the thoughts of you with anyone else. But also saying, don't wait for me. I know our, my stagnancy delays our union, their doubt. Okay, it says, uh, I can't stand the thoughts of you with anyone else. And that's clarified by, I know I owe you an apology. They know that you, they did you wrong, you know? And they know that you are um, a good woman or man. Uh, clarifying, don't wait for me. My love stagnancy uh, delays our union is I feel guilty. And they know they have um, possibly mothering issues. You know, that's why they don't trust women or maybe treat you in the wrong way or vice versa. If it's a woman, they probably have father issues. And that's the reason why they don't trust men. And so they're, they're stagnant within showing you love because of, you know, a healing that they need to do in that area. It says, I almost let them destroy our connection. When I say them, I'm thinking, you know, perhaps, you know, it could be outside influences, but also the um, toxic uh, relationship that they may have had with a parent. Um, and clarifying, I don't like being without you, but this is for your own good is if you only knew how much I love you, you know, and that part that does show you know that they love you if they you know if someone loves you enough to let you go loves you enough to say you know don't wait for me i know that i'm i'm stagnating this relationship so you know do what you got to do i would most definitely hate to see you with someone else but i know that um i'm not where i need to be to give it give you what you deserve and um clarifying the deep thought part we have I communicate I energetically communicate with you okay so um, when it comes to the twin flame messages here it says I finally I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions that's clarifying that uh, the I know I know I owe you an apology and I can't stand seeing I can't stand the thoughts of you with anyone else anyone else so they're feeling the consequences of them not coming to you not apologizing to you not for not for not giving you the love and the respect and the energy that you deserve um it says i'm constantly reminded of you i feel that's clarifying that i feel guilty and uh don't wait for me because they know their stagnancy is delaying the relationship um and then we have here i don't know how i feel anymore uh, clarifying that I almost let them destroy our connection um, with the empress, with the, mo the mother or father and energy. I mean, they're still working through that and they don't really know how to feel or how to heal that situation. Um, but um, if they says being a part has been life changing for me, um, that's clarifying. I don't like being without you, but this is for your own good, you know. And this separation has been, you know, life changing for them as well. And it says here, if you only knew how much I love you. Um, and then we have clarifying uh, deep, th deep thought and I energetically communicate with you is I'm in a much better headspace now. So they're doing the work, you know, they're in deep th thought. They're communicating with you energetically and um, they're doing the work to heal, to uh, bring about you know a, a love that is balanced okay so let's get um a little bit more clarity with the untold truths of the heart oracle chemistry all right say so they they can't stand the thoughts of seeing you with anyone else and they know you they owe you an apology 
and I'm finally feeling the consequences of my action because they know the spark and the chemistry and the desire that exists between you. But, you know, again, you know, they have a don't wait for me. I feel guilty and a stagnancy. I'm constantly reminded of you. Um, it's clarified by the distance card. There's barriers to separation because of their stagnancy. Um, my love stagnancy delays our union and they feel guilty about it. Uh, and they're constantly reminded of you, you know, um, and the space and the barriers that's between you guys. So clarifying the Empress, this mother energy, mother, father energy that needs to be healed and them not knowing how they feel anymore. We have running. Yeah. Ghosting, disappearing, invisible. Um, these mother or father issues, you know, they're, you know, separating themselves because they don't want to hurt you. Right. Um, and it says, I don't like being without you, but this is for your own good. If you only knew how much I love you, being a part has been life changing for me. Let's get clarity on that energy here. We have mirror. So maybe you, you are needing to, um, you know, do the same thing, you know, there, um, or maybe you you noticed that and that's the reason why you uh, did put that separation you like you knew what you deserve um, and you weren't accepting anything less and you want the same for your person to truly get in tune with what what it is that they need so mirror reflection shared feelings being a part has been life-changing for the both of you um, and being a part has really showed both of you how much you love each other but also how much you know uh, work that you need to that needs to be done like right now you're focusing on your finances um, and they're focusing on just the healing um, so wow beautiful so this deep thought I energetically connect, communicate with you uh, I'm in a much better headspace now it's clarified by only you fixated attached and hypnotized they know that you are their person right um, they've done they're doing the work they in deep thought they're in a much much better headspace and they know that you are the person they want to work um work this out with um the overall energy underlying energy is i know i tore you apart but the way you put yourself back together it's beautiful exactly like i was saying in the beginning of the reading you decided that okay i deserve more um and i'm not allowed and you you, you cut them off and you're doing what you need to do um and it says here you've healed enough now unblock me uh, clarified by clashing differences incompatibility conflict you know it's saying that i know i tore you apart i know there was a lot of clashing but the way you put yourself back together is beautiful it's inspiring and it has inspired me to do the healing that i needed to do maybe you did the the mother father healing that you need to do um they've done the work it says we've healed you've healed now un unblock me my heart is telling me to just do it so again like i said in the beginning of the reading there's you know uh, that 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 uh, page of source that insight the communication coming in um to bring about a balanced give and take right a new opportunity and beneath that we have the lover's card and the hair front right they're wanting to come in with a balanced offer of love and deep commitment right that's what i was talking about before you wanting a deeper commitment so um aquarius i hope they helped you in some way shape form or fashion um if you like the reading please like share and subscribe to the channel um if you want to donate to the channel my cash app will be in the link below um so please donate energetically monetarily um however you wish um, however you are led to um donate and I love you all, and until next time, peace.